Alright, so I did say I wanted to do this, and I had planned for this to be my 500 subscriber video, and uh, guess what happened, y'all? Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, 500 subscribers! That's nuts. I promised I'd do this, and I think I have a setup that works well enough, so I'm gonna do a draw my life. Do people even still do these? Oh well. <coughs> I was born Groundhog's Day in 1993. No, my life hasn't repeated, but sometimes I like the idea of the multiverse. Both of my parents were there, I think. Well, of course my mom was, and it was wild, I guess. I was like a 3am baby, so I was one of those annoying ones. And also her birthday was the next day, so that's pretty cool. Growing up, I spent a lot of time indoors because it was usually too hot to go outside. I've mentioned I live in a desert, right? Yeah, and I spend a lot of time watching TV and playing video games. I'm not good at gaming, but I've had a system since I was at least six. SNES for the win. I was pretty obsessive with things from a young age, and I can say for sure that Barney was my favorite thing when I was a baby. So eventually I went to school, and I went to a private school. My family wasn't well off, so my parents worked a lot and my aunts helped pay for me to go there. The thing with private school is that unless you're rich, or I guess quote unquote normal, you didn't fit in too well. I was this weird Asian girl who played video games and watched boyish cartoons. Mind you, this is before video games became the norm. I hung out with the guys a lot because dolls and pink weren't my thing. I did have a pretty good friend from kindergarten, and she was my best friend until about 6th grade. We kind of split because I wasn't the greatest person in middle school. But we reconnected a bit recently, and she's living this great life and I couldn't be happier for her. So then I went to my middle school slash high school. It was a charter school and the whole organization was just in its infancy, like about three or four years. And it wasn't as bad as it's become now because it was just a small school with pretty chill teachers and this idea of something greater. Wasn't for me, absolutely wasn't, but for others, it would work. I had, I did have this funky art teacher who really loved Cheez-Its, and I found out later that he sold blue jeans in Italy at some point in order to raise enough money to get back home. Because he had this whole story about stuff that happened, and it was a great story, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> but also, he hated the Sevies. And at my school, middle school started with 7th grade, and we called the Sevies, the 7th graders, Sevies because they were the youngest. I wasn't too popular at that school either, but it was entirely because I was into anime and cartoons. That wasn't going to change. I drew a lot and started becoming a lot more interested in art, but boy howdy was my stuff bad. Anatomy? What is a nose? I drew nothing but anime and pop culture stuff, which was, for the school, a not great, because that was expressly not allowed. Still isn't, it's one of the core features of this school. Let me tell ya, it was fun working there. <laughs> so then college was a time. I have some regrets, like I feel like I should have just trusted myself and went for a straight art path, and I should have started working on my YouTube channel earlier. I have. I have been watching YouTube since I was in 7th grade at least, and that was around 2007. I could have done gaming. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't be me. But during that time, I made like two videos in my four years, and one of them was a silly reaction vid that I never followed up on. Also, hey, I found out someone here has been subscribed to me since then, which fucking blew my mind. It's still blowing my mind. I responded to your comment on Instagram, but... That's five years, so shout out to Vanilla Lime Ice Nine. That is a cool ass name. Um, thank you for sticking around. Upside to college was that I met some really, really fucking rad people. There's Catelyn, who is also my art inspiration, and like their art is really cute. They've kind of dropped off social media, but last time we hung out, they were getting back into art. I've never been happier to hear that. And then there's Maddie, who I met at a convention in freshman year. But we didn't really become friends until like about a year later. We both cosplayed at Talia and she ran a deviant art group, which is how I met other people and became friends with them. Maddie's rad as fuck. The smartest person I know and fucking amazing at makeup and like design. Like, 
God dang, she's so cool. Then there's Savvy, who's one of the most level-headed and kindest people I know. I tend to get her into things and she gets me into other things and we can go on and on about the dumbest shit. I'm drawing something at the top of this that probably only she'd get. Maybe Maddie? Maybe a couple of you guys out there. It's a quote from a episode <laughs> of something dumb. But I haven't sent her specifically this, but maybe she'll remember us saying it nonstop. <laughs> the three of us just have a bunch of dumb inside jokes, but like, you know how in school you'll make friends and be best friends with those people because you see them every day? I had those kinds of best friends, but with Maddie and Zabby, they're the kind of people who I won't see for months or we won't talk or we won't even interact at all. But each and every time we finally have the chance to be around each other, it feels like no time has passed at all. And we're still the best of friends. We make time to see each other, you know? When I was in college, I hung out with my high school friends about five times over the course of four years. One lived on campus, two lived about 10 minutes away from campus, and one lived in the same building as me, and I only saw her like twice that year. Catlin too, like we only had one class together in freshman year, but after that year, we still hung out, and while I haven't gotten to see them as often as I want, I still try to see them whenever I'm in that town, you know? So yeah, after all that, I graduated, worked some customer service jobs, then got a job at my old school as a TA. Not my old school, but one of the schools in its circle. Which was a time. The kids were great, and I guess I didn't realize how well the school was run until I started at a different school that was on the completely opposite side of town. The school was moving the fifth grade to another building, and I really didn't like the way that was run, so I applied to a different school. The what it said on the paper was not what it was actually. Don't work at charter schools, guys. It's a bad time. <laughs> but I got a job there as a para, and well, that was a bad time. I won't go into specific details, but I know I've had some pretty bad lows in my life, but that school pretty much scared me off of teaching altogether. And I don't think I'd made as many of death jokes about myself as I did that year. Things happened when I left, and yeah, and I heard that it just kept on getting worse. Until they finally got rid of the principal, and things have gotten a little bit better from what I've understood. It's not perfect, but that whole company is just bad. Anyway, after all that happened, I finally decided to just do this. I had saved enough money to be okay for a while. I live at home, which yeah, I know is a little odd because I'm as old as I am, but with how things are going, it's not as bad as it could have been. My school debt was mostly paid off, and I can afford to pay that, and my car is fine for right now. Plus, with things going down, honestly, this could maybe work out. So, who knows how that'll be. And I'm starting to do some more conventions, selling art, I'm trying to work enough, make enough work. <laughs> trying to make enough work to be able to put that out there and sell stuff. I have ideas for a comic that I've been wanting to write for years, just never sat down and did it. And I kind of have the chance to, I think, if I can get my computer to stop being weird. Honestly though, I got really lucky to have the early boost that I got, because I made that in this honest video and Mark tweeted that video out, which like, bro, that was kind of amazing. Last time he saw anything I made was like 2015 or something with one of the Markiplier Sings guys. And then the Steven Universe one did pretty ding dang well too, but for real. Thank you so much for sticking around and checking out my videos. If you're new or old or only here temporarily, I really appreciate that people check out what I make either daily or weekly or whenever I make something somewhat animated. I hope you'll stick around, I'm just getting started. <laughs>